Our planet is one of the planets that support human life because Earth has a lot of natural resources that help us in our survival. But have you ever wondered how life on other planets is possible? And if yes, how it will be? NASA, one of the leading space research organizations, discovered something similar. Titan, Saturn's moon which is as big as the Earth, is supposed to have life on it. But why scientists believe there could be life on Titan? Let's find out! Welcome to Space World! In today's video, we are going to talk about whether NASA has actually discovered life on Titan. So if you want to know more about it, then stay with us until the end of the video. Saturn's moon Titan may look like an intriguing opportunity for humans to land on someday, but according to some experts, it would not be a comfy place for Earth-like microbes. It lacks a global ocean like the ones found on Europa and Enceladus, and it doesn't enjoy the relatively balmy climate of Mars. But it does look strikingly Earth-like in one respect, as lakes with crinkled shorelines speckle its surface. So, why do scientists believe that there is life on Titan? For the first time, scientists have mapped out the whole surface of Titan, the largest moon around Saturn. The map confirms existing data showing that Titan has many Earth-like qualities that might be able to support life. The data was collected by Cassini, a spacecraft operated by the US space agency NASA. The spacecraft studied Saturn and its moons from 2004 to 2017, and astronomers used images and radar measurements from Cassini to create the geological map of Titan. The map shows Titan as a mixture of flat plains, hills and mountains, wind-blown sand areas, valleys, and lakes. Rosalie Lopes led the project. She is a planetary scientist at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory in Pasadena, California. Lopes stated that the many similarities between Earth and Titan make the Saturn moon a great choice for continued exploration. Titan has an atmosphere like Earth. It has wind, it has rain, it has mountains, Lopes said. It's a really very interesting world and one of the best places in the solar system to look for life. Adding to this, Titan is the only known moon with an atmosphere and the most Earth-like place we know of. It has rain, lakes, and oceans. And researchers have this month discovered ice features, deep lakes on top of mesas, and vicious winter storms. Therefore, it could also contain the building blocks of life itself. Now, should NASA send a probe to search for life? Tantalizingly, that's exactly what's being planned with the ambitious Dragonfly drone mission. We'll get to that, but first, consider why Titan is getting scientists excited. So why is Titan so special? Titan has a possibly home-baked atmosphere with complex chemistry. It rains, it has lakes, it has seasons, it has valleys, mountain ridges, mesas, and dunes. Sound familiar? We'll hold on there. The atmosphere is 98% nitrogen and 2% methane, and the seas and lakes are liquid ethane and methane, not water. Methane exists as a gas in the atmosphere, but as liquid and ice in rain, snow, and lakes. In addition, the researchers analyzed half of Titan's surface and found no ice volcanoes, but they did find an unexpected ice corridor. This icy corridor is puzzling because it doesn't correlate with any surface features nor measurements of the subsurface," said Caitlin Griffin, a professor at the UA Lunar and Planetary Laboratory and lead author. Given that our study and past work indicate that Titan is currently not volcanically active, the trace of corridors is likely a vestige of the past. We detect this feature on steep slopes, but not on all slopes. This suggests that icy corridor is currently eroding, potentially unveiling the presence of ice and organic strata. Apart from this, scientists believe that Titan's atmosphere may be a laboratory for studying the organic chemistry that preceded life, which provided the building blocks for life on Earth. Griffith's team also found tantalizing deposits of organic material in some parts of Titan. Further proof that this giant moon could host biologically interesting compounds, such as amino acids. On Earth, amino acids are the building blocks for all living things. Both Titan and Earth followed different evolutionary paths, 
and both ended up with unique organic rich atmospheres and surfaces, said Griffith. But it is not clear whether Titan and Earth are common blueprints of the organic rich of bodies or two among many possible organic rich worlds. Griffith has said before that she regards Titan as a deranged version of Earth. Moreover, Griffith's team at the University of Arizona compared their results with past studies of Titan. Happy with the technique and the results, the team now plans to explore the methane seas at Titan's poles. Now, could life exist in Titan's methane seas? That's what the University of Illinois at Chicago is working on using a $1.1 million five-year grant from NASA's Astrobiology Institute. Titan's ocean, which sits below a thick ice layer, is believed to have conditions favorable to life, though life would have to exist under extremely harsh conditions. The essential chemical building blocks for life are present in the atmosphere, but Titan's surface is quite inhospitable to life as we know it, because of its extremely low temperature, the absence of liquid water, said Fabian Koenig, professor of Earth and Environmental Sciences at UIC and one of the principal investigators on the grant. Scientists generally agree that life in Titan's ocean would be microbial, like small-size, single-cell organisms. But what are Titan's lakes like? Titan's northern hemisphere is home to small liquid lakes, making it the only place in the solar system other than Earth to have stable liquid on its surface. However, since Titan gets around 1% of the sunlight Earth does, the average surface temperature is minus 290 degrees Fahrenheit, minus 179 Celsius. It's so cold that ethane and methane behave like liquids. In a recent study, scientists found out more about how Titan's small lakes work, as well as discovering that they're more than 300 feet deep. Findings published in Nature Astronomy, these 10 miles wide bodies of methane appear to be perched atop big hills and plateaus. Titan has, like mesas or buttes, hundreds of feet above the surrounding landscape, with deep liquid lakes on top. Every time we make discoveries on Titan, Titan becomes more and more mysterious, said lead author Marco Mastro Giuseppe, Cassini radar scientist at Caltech in Pasadena, California. Now that we know about its lakes, what are Titan's storms like? Since Cassini was at Saturn for 13 years, it was able to study Titan for a little less than an entire Titan year, which lasts just over 29 Earth years. Using Cassini data, a paper published argued that Titan shows significant seasonal changes with polar vortices and north and south poles detected during long periods of darkness. Now, everyone knows about the Cassini mission, but what's often overlooked is that on January 14, 2005, it jettisoned a small probe called Huygens. It made a spectacular film of its 2.5-hour descent onto Titan, where it landed surrounded by rounded blocks of ice. So after all, everything we have come to know about this strange moon, could NASA launch a mission to land on Titan? And can we actually hope to find life there? A decision is due this summer on Dragonfly, a Titan rotocraft lander that will compete for funding in NASA's New Frontiers program. To launch in 2025 and reach Titan in 2034, the Dragonfly mission would last for two years once it arrived. The plan is for a probe to land, take measurements specifically to study Titan's prebiotic chemistry. The lander would also be a quadcopter drone, capable of flying somewhere else every 16 days. Scientists can only countenance such a mission because of the dense atmosphere on Titan, which would make buoyancy no problem. Though checking the safety of each landing site would involve extensive Reiki flights. Now, if the Dragonfly lands safely on Titan, does that mean humans could visit Titan? Well, it's really cold. But there are some interesting characteristics for humans. For example, gravity on Titan is just 14% of Earth's, so humans could fly just by flapping some strap-on wings. In addition, with 1.5 bar surface pressure, humans wouldn't have to wear pressure suits, but they would need oxygen masks. Though wrapping up warm might be advisable. However, the real problem is distance. 
with Titan being roughly a billion miles from Earth. That would mean a journey of at least seven years. Compared to Mars, Titan is a long-haul destination. But it could yet prove to be the most alluring both for humans to visit and for the search for extraterrestrial life. So we still have a lot to discover about Titan. And once we do, it will completely change our perspective about the distant planets, exoplanets, and moons. And this is it for today, guys. What are your thoughts on today's video? Share your views with us in the comments below. Also, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and ring the bell icon for more amazing videos about space. And thank you for watching.